David Bruno, this is like a nightmare. If you're an attorney, from an attorney's uh, standpoint, your own guy is uh, saying this. Uh, what's your take on this as an attorney? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, Baez has denied it, obviously. And my first instinct when I heard this was this has to be a violation of the rules of professional conduct. Um, attorneys throughout various different states have certain rules of conduct that they have to conduct themselves within, and a violation of it can result in sanctions, suspensions, terminations. So I looked to the rules of conduct in Florida, and it is a violation to engage in sexual conduct with a client or a representative of a client. However, what I was very surprised at is it, there needs to be more. It needs to be sexual conduct that exploits or adversely affects the interests of the client or the client lawyer client relationship. A bit surprising to me because what that's saying is this necessarily, even if true, wouldn't necess- wouldn't be a violation of the rules of professional conduct unless it exploded. Really? Yeah, uh, unbelievable. So. That's what jumps out at me. I first heard it. I thought, wow, this could result in sanctions, suspension, termination. But there's a little bit more that's necessary, even if true. Alex Sanchez, uh, you, you, don't, you never thought this was true from the get-go. But she has more credibility. You, you think, uh, Casey, you were well, talking to me earlier. So what is your take? Well, well first of all, the, the first question I'd like to ask, and maybe – Mr. Bruno and Bob know the answer to this. What on earth is this doing in a bankruptcy proceeding? I don't get Great it. Great question. You know, Great question. You know, what no, the I don't heck know. is it doing there? You know? And on top of that, um, the whole thing sounds completely bogus. This investigator, I'm sure, has some axe to grind with bias, who I don't know. I never met him, never spoke to him. I'm not a representative of, of his. But he must have some axe to grind. Maybe uh, Baez owed him money or something to do with the case. Because every allegation that he's making against Baez should result in disbarment. You're having sex with a client, and he says not just sex with a client, that Casey Anthony's running naked through the office. That, that sounds preposterous. That he admitted, um, that, that Baez admitted that Casey Anthony killed, his, killed the kid, that Baez was gonna, wanted to send an investigator out to find the body before the police did. That's obstruction of justice and tampering with evidence, right? So this, this it sounds to me like an investigator has some axe to grind with bias and is bringing up every horrendous type of activity a lawyer can engage in for the purposes of seeing bias punished for some reason. I just don't know. It sounds like the allegations are just, uh, you know, uh, they, don't, they don't merit any type of credibility. So I don't think it's going anywhere. Strong, strong allegations, Bob Chuck. What's your take on this? You know, it's uh, Baez is, it has no choice but to come out and refute it. The only thing I would say that, if, if, that I, I just see no credibility here because what he's saying is so absurd and so scandalous that there is no way yes. if what he's claiming to be true, that Casey Anthony's running around a law office naked, either after hours or, or during hours, that nobody else saw this, that there's not surveillance, right. that there's not another set of eyes, that there's not another person who's going to come out looking for a payday interview with one of the major news networks or one of the magazines to say, he's telling the truth, I was there, I saw it, something to that effect. Casey Anthony told me that he was, she was having sex with her lawyer. People, there's just no way that in a case that drew so much attention, there was so many eyes on it, with so many people involved, that no one heard, saw, knew that something like this was happening, which is why I think it has zero, less than zero percent credibility. But obviously, he's getting his 15 minutes, warranted or otherwise, uh, and you know he just better be careful that Mr. Bias isn't slapping with some legal you know, lawsuit coming up, uh, you know, seeking to, to, to recoup any damages that he can prove that has been, you know, uh, which is going to be very difficult. But, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just did it to, to show 
the country and to show, you know, just to save his his name and his reputation because, you know, he built something big for himself down there with this case and he shouldn't have someone just take it away from him based upon census allegations or trying to, you know, get his 15 minutes, as I said. You know, another and, thing, uh, Bob, is that this guy, yeah, yeah, was... another thing, just Jordan, is that, you know, this woman is so wacky mm-hmm. that it, it would be insane on that level to be engaged in any type of relationship with her, even if you were not uh, her lawyer. Just to have right. any relationship with somebody yeah. like this is crazy because she's so unpredictable and she's made so many wild allegations against everybody that to get involved with her, especially as your lawyer, would be absolutely insane. And there's nothing bias has shown in his past which would demonstrate degree of well, right. He has nothing to gain from I'm it. Aware of. Gain from it. I mean, he he's now you know one of the most sought after criminal you know defense attorneys not only in the state of Florida but in the country. He's he you know he has yes. he, he does speaking engagements. He does TV work. He has you know to me the credibility aspect and you know you know his you know entire reputation, his entire brand, his entire business is on the line. And you know I just don't see him or anyone for that matter and maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just naive to that effect throwing it away and and uh, over over you know something like this over a relationship with someone and who's still, proven to be unstable on every sense uh, in the of the word yeah, i'm still bob, waiting you know, bob for you to let me know why this is in bankruptcy court aren't you an expert on bankruptcy <laughs> I have no. My brother's a bankruptcy attorney. If you want to bring him on and ask well, him, I have him. no idea. Get Not him on me the show. You know, Bob, Baez wouldn't be the first and certainly wouldn't be the last lawyer to have sexual relations with a client. Oh, um, well, that's. No, per- no personally, I don't believe it myself. I mean, just where it's coming from, the person it's coming from, this guy, Dominic Casey, is the investigator, the context. Um, certainly I don't believe it, but I'm not naive to the fact that this does happen in, in the industry. It's not widespread. It's not common, but on the fringes, this certainly does happen. Um, and another thing, when this allegedly happened, Jose Baez wasn't who he was now. Uh, this is Very the person point. that took on that case. You know, that case made Jose Baez. So, again, I don't personally believe it, but I, I, well, I think we shouldn't just say, oh, it's, it doesn't happen, and, and, and it probably didn't here. And, uh, David, it, what happens in this case if uh, prosecution, prosecutors think this, is, uh, this has some merit? Do they look into it? Do they question the guy who's saying it? No, How no would that there's work? not going to be, you know, there, there's not going to be a prosecution at play. Um, not right. not unless it was against Casey Anthony's will, and you're talking about a sexual assault or un- right. unlawful touching or something like that. This is more of a violation of the rules of professional conduct, which could result in sanctions by a disciplinary committee for Jose Baez's license. Should be interesting. He's going to sue, they say, and uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens on this one. All right, the uh, next story is about Baylor. Uh, similar cover up, people say, to the uh, Penn State situation. Here's a little cut. We'll play this and we'll come back and talk on our side. Amid a sexual assault scandal that has engulfed the school's football team, USA Today reported the Baylor University Board of Regents has fired the football team's head coach, Art Bryles. Bryles has been with Baylor since 2008. Baylor's been accused of failing to properly respond to claims of sexual assaults against members of the football team. The claims were reported by at least six female students from 2009 to 2016. Last week, ESPN reported that Waco police records revealed additional allegations against Baylor football players of violence. They include incidents of sexual assaults and domestic violence. ESPN reported that according to the police documents, at least some Baylor officials, including coaches, knew about many of the incidents. Most players did not miss playing time for disciplinary reasons. 